Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Production Expert. And in this video, we're going to put Revoice Pro's audio performance transfer functions to work on some vocals. Here's what we're working with. But now I'm staring at this reflection Cause there's no one to hold me close and look me in the eye But then there's you You, you know just what I need All right, so we have a few different sections, a few different things to deal with and correct. At the top, we have this lead vocal and a double, and let's just listen to these alone. But now I'm staring at this reflection, cause there's no one to hold me close and look me in the eye. All right, the tuning of the lead vocal is not bad, but the double has some words that are a bit out, reflection and in the eye, things like that, where they're not fully correct. So let's use an APT, an audio performance transfer, to correct that. I'm going to press B to bring this up. And I've already got an audio performance transfer process selected. Selected playback range is the area I want to operate on. And I want to use my lead vocal as the guide. And this double is the dub, the one I want affected. And I'll have it automatically create an output. But let's choose a different preset. I'm going to go here. I'm going to choose one of the music ones, since that'll call up the music algorithm rather than the dialogue algorithm. And we'll go tightest time and pitch. So let's process that. And there's my new output track. And I'll just mute this for a moment and let's listen. But now I'm staring at this reflection because there's no one to hold me close and look me in the eye. All right, that sounds good. A little too good, a little too perfect. It sounds a bit too tight, too artificially doubled. I'm going to hit P to bring up the process control panel, and we can adjust some of these parameters. For example, the timing, it's set at the tightest tolerance, but I'm going to loosen this up, and we can see the energy trace here moving as it sort of hugs the contours of the note, and that should give us a little bit more of a natural response. Let's listen to that. But now I'm staring at this reflection, because there's no one to hold me close and look me in the eye. All right, that works nicely. I could even loosen up a little bit more on that tolerance for the timing for a little bit looser, more natural feel. And I'm using normal flexibility here, which is usually fine, but you might want to go to a higher flexibility setting in more extreme cases. In terms of the pitch, I'm at 100%, but here too, we can loosen up a little bit and have it in tune with the guide, but not 100% in tune. Let's listen to that. But now I'm staring at this reflection Cause there's no one to hold me close and look me in the eye All right, great. Now I'm going to ease off on the fit slider as well. This is for fast moving detail like vibrato, like at the end of the word I. And again, I don't want it so perfectly timed. So let's ease off a little bit here. And let's listen to that. But now I'm staring at this reflection Cause there's no one to hold me close and look me in the eye But now... Great, that works nicely. Now let's move on. I'm going to look at the next section here and let's unmute this. But then there's you. All right, I just want to really deal with the timing on this one. So again, I'm going to hit B to bring this up. We're going to use an APT again, selected playback range. I'm going to switch the preset to tight timing only. Again, lead vocal, vocal double, but this time I want to generate five outputs since we have some stacked harmonies and doubles. So again, let's use automatic and we'll go new process. And there, they're automatically generated. Now, before we listen back, what I'm going to do is just select this, 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 and this, and just drag them quickly here to make a group so that I can mute them and make them hidden. So let's listen now to this lead vocal with the output tracks. But then there's you. Beautiful. I don't think I'm going to touch that. Let me remove this range over here, and I'm going to unmute these and make them visible again. And let's keep listening. You, you know just what I need. You, you know just what I feel. Okay, so I'm going to leave this phrase alone. That's fine. But here we have the same problem. So again, let me just get a little playback range here. I'm going to hit B to bring this up. And APT, tight timing only, lead vocal, 
double, five processes, everything's good to go. Let's go new process. And there it's added them in. And now I can just close this up for a moment and I'll mute these and hide and let's listen. You, you know just where I feel. Beautiful. I don't need to change anything there either. So let's get rid of this and let's listen to the whole thing in context. But now I'm staring at this reflection because there's no one to hold me close and look me in the eye. But then there's you. You, you know just what I need. Great, so job well done. Revoice Pro to the rescue and of course the APT control panel where we can always determine how tightly we want to align the timing and or pitch when we're conforming tracks to fit together. This is Eli Kranzberg for Production Expert.